Hello everyone. Today I am going to present you how we can draw a graph of trigonometric functions. So first of all, let us take sin x and let me draw the graph of sin x. Before this, you have to know about the angles of the trigonometric ratios. For this, I have already uh, shown you how we can draw a table of angles. Let us draw once again. This is the table where this is sin x, then cos x and tan x. These are the trigonometric ratios and here I am going to take the angle that is 0 degree, 30 degree, 60 degree, sorry, 45 degree, then 60 degree, 90 degree and then 180 degree, 270 degree and 360 degree. So these are the standard angles which values I have known and you also know very well. So what are the values 0? This way you can find out this 3, 4 dividing by 4 and take the square root over it. So you can observe this sin is 0, sin 30 is 1 by 2, this is root 2 by sorry 1 by root 2. This is root 3 by 2 and this is 1. These are the ratios, angles for sin x, cos x, just you have to write in reverse order that is 1, root 3 by 2, 1 by root 2, 1 by 2 and 0. Next is 10x, 10x is a reciprocal of sin in cos. So take the reciprocal of their values, it is 0, it is 1 by root 3, this is 1, this is root 3 and this is not defined because it is 1 by 0 which is not defined and here this is 0 minus 1 0 minus 1 0 1 0 not defined 0 now let me draw the graph of trigonometric functions first i am going to take the sin x sin x this is the function so let us draw the function First of all, take the x and y axis. This is x axis. This is y axis. It is origin. That means 0. If it is 0 angle, then I am going to take this pi by 2. That means 90 degree. Then pi, which is 180 degree. Then 3 pi by 2, 270 degree and then 2 pi. Similarly, I am going to take on the left side. That is minus pi by 2, minus pi, minus 3 pi by 2 and this is minus 2 pi. Here. Now let me take the value at 0. When the angle is 0, sin is again 0. So here is the point. After that, when it is pi by 2, angle is pi by 2, sin is 1. So here it is 1. If I am going to take this 1, then this is here. Then pi at pi, the value is sin value is 0. So this is again 0. At 3 pi by 2, what it is? It is minus 1. So you have to take downside. This is minus 1 here. Then at 2 pi it is again 0. So it is in the form of this. This curve. Similarly, it is symmetry along the negative axis. So this curve is representing sin x graph. Clear? I think it is clear to you. In this way, you can draw a graph of sin x. Next, second is cos x. This is also similar to this. Only the difference of is. Let me take the values of angle that is 0 degree. This is pi by 2. This is pi, 3 pi by 2 and 2 pi. Only this much you have to take. Then minus pi by 2, minus pi, minus 3 pi by 2 and this is minus 2 pi. Because after 2 pi, the period will repeat again and the values will be same. So in this way, now let us take what is the cos value at x equals to 0. This is 1, 
so here it is 1 so this point i am going to take this point after this cos pi by 2 will be 0 so it it is 0 here then cos pi is this cos pi is minus 1 so minus 1 is downside so it is here and at 3 pi by 2 it is 0 then at 2 pi this is again 1 so you have to draw this in the form of this join the points clear so this is the graph similarly similarly you can draw to the next side also so this curve is representing cos x this is representing sin x so in this way you can draw a graph of sin and cos after that i am going to draw the graph for a 10x how to draw a graph for an for a trigonometric function 10x let us take 10 of x so i am going to take the same way first write down this is 0 degree pi by 2 this is pi 3 pi by 2 and this is 2 pi similarly here minus pi by 2 minus pi minus 3 pi by 2 and this is minus 2 pi now let us see at 0 degree the 10 value is 0 so here this is the point after this at 90 degree it is not defined okay that means if i am drawing this line parallel to y axis same on the left hand side also this okay so at pi by 2 this is 90 so it is going like this tending towards the infinity at pi by 2 after that at 180 it is 0 so again this is 0 and after this this is again not defined at uh, it is not defined at 3 pi by 2 so it is symmetry then this way it is tending towards infinity and similarly it is downside also in this way you can make it parallel to y axis after this then you will take minus pi okay minus pi then again it is not defined but it is minus infinity so here it my in uh, at uh, minus pi this is take it first of all uh, pi by 2 okay so pi by 2 is not defined so in this way you can draw a graph of 10x so this is a graph of 10x after that this fourth is cortex cortex is just similar to this only the difference is take 0 pi by 2 pi 3 pi by 2 and this is 2 pi similarly minus pi by 2 minus pi minus 3 pi by 2 and minus 2 pi so for the cot you have to take the reciprocal of 10 so it is 0 at 0 10 then cot will be infinity because it is 0 upon 1 you have to take the reciprocal so 1 by 0 is again infinity so at 0 cot 0 is infinity make it clear at 0 it is infinity at pi by 2 at pi by 2 this is 0 so here it is 0 and at 0 this is going towards infinity then you have to take downside also after that at 180 this is 0 upon 1 reciprocal will be infinity so at 180 this is infinity at 3 pi by 2 this is 0 so in this way
you. So this is the graph for cortex. Now let me draw the graph for cosec and sec x. So how we can draw a graph for cosec x? This is fifth one. Let us take cosec of x. You know that the cosec of x is a reciprocal of sine of x. So you have to take the value of sine and just reciprocal this. So let me draw first of all the same thing that is 0, pi by 2, pi, 3 pi by 2 and this is 2 pi. Similarly here, minus pi by 2, minus pi, minus 3 pi by 2 and minus 2 pi. Let me take a parallel line to the y-axis. This is, hmm, yes. Now take the 0. At 0, sin is 0. So cosec will be 0 upon 1 that is reciprocal 1 by 0 which is infinity. So here it is infinity and at pi by 2, this is pi by 2, this is again gives to give you 1. So this is pi by 2 at pi by 2, this is 1. So if I am taking this one, so this is the graph. After that, again this is at 270, it is minus 1. At 270 means 3 pi by 2. If I am taking this minus 1, then this is here. So this is the graph. Similarly, at again, let me draw for the pi. What is pi? This is 0 degree. At pi, this is 0 degree. So here. And 270 I have drawn already. Then this is 90. 90 I have drawn. Similarly, this is here also. Minus 1. Add 2 by this is 0. So you have to draw it is 0 in this way. Okay. So this is the graph for cosec x. Now for the sec x, the graph is 6th. That is sec of x, which is a reciprocal of cos x. So this graph is 0, pi by 2, pi, 3 pi by 2, then 2 pi. This is minus pi by 2, minus pi, minus 3 pi by 2, and minus 2 pi. So cosec x at 0, this is 1. So here it is 1. So the graph is like this, parallel to. And uh, anywhere, this is minus 1, 180. So 180 is this. This is 180, this is minus 1. So graph is like this. After that, it is again 1 at 2 pi. So this is the graph. This is 1. Make it more accurate. If this point is 1, then this is 1. So the graph is in this way. Clear? Similarly, you have to make to this side also symmetry this way. So these are the way how to draw a graph of a trigonometric function. Thank you so much.